Kim here and I am not yet sure what is going to come out of my mouth. I have so many thoughts and feelings and I'm not exactly sure what needs to be articulated so here goes nothing. This video is for women out there but most especially for my daughters and most particularly for my youngest. I had a conversation with my youngest daughter over the weekend. She was having a hard time with something and she was trying to suck up all her emotions and not react at all and i saw her fighting back tears um about uh, her feelings being hurt about actually being in physical pain about something and she's trying to be strong and she said something that broke my heart and i hope i don't get emotional but i probably will so maybe i shouldn't hope that i don't get emotional based on what she said what she said to me was when I said, why didn't you just, like if you're upset, just let it out, it's okay. She said that she was trying to be strong like me because she knew if I was in the situation, I wouldn't have complained and I wouldn't have cried. And that just shook me to my core because I realized that in all these decades of me processing my own emotions as a rock, as somebody who's strong and firm and unmoving what i've essentially done is taught myself how not to feel and i've now taught my children that strength in a woman means not feeling anything or not reacting so basically they believe by watching me that i'm mimicking what society has impressed upon a man to do to be strong which is to not cry and to not react is what a woman is supposed to do to be strong too and i didn't mean to do that so let me be transparent here 2018 so far we're but a minute in and i am in um a lot of emotional pain right now um i have gotten my feelings hurt i'm experiencing loss the enemy has tried to come for me through my money through my house through my family health through my love life through my children's feelings and emotions and i have started out 2018 overwhelmed so i believe that um, i'm gonna power through this and um, I believe that I'm going to champion through this and although the the enemy also tried to come for my faith in this um, that's going to fail too because in this what I'm realizing is that this means I'm supposed to knuckle down inside of this and and really work on this faith thing and not through my head but through my heart and I really need to do some mind renewal and one of the things that I haven't done in that is allowed myself to feel things uh, because if I feel them, then I'll know what I'm losing. And that hurts to lose things. So I'm doing this video really for my daughters to let them know that it's okay to feel things because we got to get all that stuff out. And um, I do believe, even though I'm going through it, I do believe that when we feel things and we empty them out, when we do lose things, they will get replaced. Those empty spaces do get replaced. I've seen it happen. Um, as you may know from knowing some of my story, I spent almost six months in 2017 without a house. And then God blessed me with the house that I'm in. This is more than I asked him for. So I am believing for myself, I'm believing for my daughters, I'm believing for my health, I'm believing for my family, I'm believing for my prosperity, I'm believing for all of you out there who might watch this that it is imperative sometimes to go through brokenness and in going through the brokenness we have to feel it. And I had really important people in my life recently remind me um, that you have to actually feel lost to go through it. I think sometimes I block it. So um, I'm going to 
let myself go all the way through it and feel it and know that there's something good that comes out of it so um I'm gonna be okay. I am okay. Okay in that it's okay to be upset. So I'm upset and I'm okay in, in that. I'm learning to be okay in being upset. I'm going to go through these losses. I'm going to prayerfully continue submission. Um, and I'm going to believe in God for the gains that come from this. And I'm going to believe that my daughters will learn from this that um, your strength is not in walling up emotion. Your strength is in feeling it, being brave enough to embrace your emotions and strong enough to um, create space for something positive to fill that void. So um, I didn't do a good job of walking this out for them, but moving forward. I'm gonna to try to walk this out for myself and for my girls. So that is all for now. Um, I don't usually ever, I've never posted anything like this, but I just wanna be transparent because I've realized there are a lot more people than I thought um, walking my spiritual awakening with me. And I wanna be real about this because if you're getting something from it, then this is part of the walk too. And so I am, I am believing in God that that this is going to be a phenomenal year because I have never submitted to him like I'm submitting to him right now and I'm in a moment where I've actually given him everything even the things I didn't want to give him I have given him everything now so uh, let's see what happens and my feelings are hurt now <laughs> but but I'm prayerful that when I revisit this story in December of 2018, I'm going to have a fantastic testimonial. So that's it. Thank you.